Good morning, everybody. It's Chris Vermeulen. It's 8.42 a.m. Eastern Time on April 9th. I just want to go over some charts uh, pre-market here so you can see what uh, we're looking for today and the coming weeks for the broad market. Uh, okay, so here is the SPY, which is the in, uh, ETF for the SP500. I will jump between the futures contract and the SPY in this video just because uh, I need different time time frames a 24 hour clock but um, let's just cover quickly what's going on here in short uh, I mentioned yesterday about the cycles which a bunch of you are interested in I did contact um, the company to make sure that uh, their program will work with uh, MetaTrader and TradeStation and things like that I'll get back to everybody on that hopefully later today as long as they reply to my email um, but in short I just want to cover what's been going on uh, since say last July uh, more or less we've got the long-term cycle and we've got these shorter term cycles if you simply look at the cycles from trough to trough you can see that we had the July low on the long-term cycle and the intermediate cycles as along with the indexes and of course you go to the following long-term trough and we had another low and uh, the following trough after that is the more or less the February low. So within these longer waves we do have these uh, smaller cycles going on within them and of course I have a program that automatically calculates the most active wave for the uh, the market condition so you can see that these waves uh, relate with each bounce in here and um, you kind of put it all together in time when all three are bottoming or at least two are moving in sync you get these powerful moves up and of course when there's counter counter trend cycles so when uh, these intermediate cycles are heading down while the longer term cycle is moving up you get this choppy action and pullback so you can um, simply put a long position in and then trade using the smaller ones to uh, an active section of your position and play it that way I have also put together uh, my own custom indicator to help me pick uh, market bottoms with extreme market sentiment on volume. And you can see that pretty much the day after we get the uh, extreme market sentiment, uh, the market does bottom. And I will be, of course, teaching this to everybody in futures trading signals. Over time, there is a lot to cover. And uh, I kind of am just going to take it one step at a time, and I'll have everything uh, put together in videos so that. Uh, everybody can watch what they need to learn repeatedly videos are definitely by f definitely the way to uh, to learn nowadays so anyways in short we've got these cycles and we've got these panic bottoms and these uh, market tops with choppy action and uh, right now we've got the long term and intermediate cycles heading up they are getting fairly close to topping and um, I have a feeling we're getting about the same action as what we had in January. I'm just going to switch to the SP futures here. And uh, this is the January top. And this is where we are now. And I have a feeling we're just about to get this um, up down action. And uh, it looks like that's what we're just about starting to do right now, going into earnings season. And uh, once the good numbers come out, the general public is going to buy into all the good earnings for all the companies. Of course, the market has already rallied. We already expected and pretty much know that the companies are performing well. That's why the markets have already moved up. So the general public will be putting money to work. And the big money, the smart money, will be selling into that pressure. And eventually it will overcome the, uh, the novice kind of buying money. And what I think that we're going to see here... It's pretty much, I would say, about a five or six percent pullback, and it'll come down to this price point, and uh, that's where we'll be looking to to start adding positions on uh, some ETFs or futures contracts, things like that. I do want to cover. This is um, a lot of people get confused with support and resistance. Yes, this will be a support level, um, and we could get a, a bounce off it, and those are those are great plays. Usually, I, those are shorter shorter term plays I'll get in on a bounce and it might only last a couple days and that's usually where we find the three wave kind of correction you'll get a bounce and then the flush out which will come down to the main support level which is the middle of the previous sideways action and it's down here is where the real opportunities and the, and the, the big money is made because from here you get a very strong rally 
so that's I'll be covering this support and resistance in another video but uh, in short we'll probably see a sell down to about this level we'll see a bounce we'll probably if, if we get in on a nice short here we will be taking some money off the table and let the market drift back up and we'll probably short on a short-term overbought condition and uh, we'll take advantage of this next down leg which should flush out and create a panic uh, panic selling so that's kind of what's going on right now I'll just pull in the intraday let me just pull in the intraday chart here one sec here's the intraday one hour chart of the S&P yesterday we um, the markets gapped lower at the open we had a buy order set uh, at this blue line here and uh, we wanted the panic selling to spike down we only missed it by two ticks 50 cents uh, unfortunately the market took off but uh, thing is we didn't break our rules we didn't chase it uh, we just will wait for the next setup that's kind of how trading works once you break one rule uh, you start breaking them all the time and before you know it you're always stuck in bad situations so I don't mind missing a trade we had it pretty much dead on we just missed it by a couple ticks and uh, that's almost as good as winning a trade because at least we know we're in sync with the market and uh, everything is kind of going as planned so what's happening today market closed uh, around here yesterday the market right now is gapping up so I have a feeling if we break uh, the April 6 high we're gonna see uh, a volume surge we're gonna see a rally I think every rally is going to be sold pretty much what we see here we see a rally up and then it sells down uh, once we break the new high you see a surge and then a sell down same with back here you get the surge up and then it sells down so if we get this um, a breakout this morning at the open most likely we're going to get a surge it's going to be followed by uh, big money stepping in and selling into that uh, surge of, of buying volume so they can sell at a premium and it is Friday I think people are getting nervous about that the markets maybe a little oversold or sorry a little overbought we could see um, selling kinda into Friday because people don't want to hold over the weekend but um, the market is extremely bullish still and money keeps dumping dumping back in so we could get a big rally into the close and it really you don't know until we see how the morning unfolds in the afternoon and what the volume is so really with the cycle down at the bottom here is just bottoming and it's coming up which is why I think we're going to get a surge to the upside and of course once we break the uh, April 6 high it's going to add more fuel to the surge um, I do think new highs are going to be sold um, once the momentum slows down I think we'll see a nice steady pullback but uh, nothing tradable on the intraday basis I, I don't want to scalp uh, in this service it's just it just it's too tough it's uh, hard to get alerts out quick enough when we get in and you know it could be three minutes later we want to get out um, so I don't scalp in the service we're focusing on these big moves like we saw yesterday where we buy at key support levels or sell at key resistance levels in a down market and we just catch these sharp thrusts and uh, that's the focus it's all about having a high win ratio I, I'd rather win you know seven or eight out of ten trades that move really well in our favor and uh, our losers will be minimal, uh, very minimal. So that's the focus today, and um, I'll update in the chat room later. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.